Hi there, we're with Joe's Me from Victoria House Care Home. So first of all, congratulations on your now multi-award winning award collection today. Thank you very much. It is uh, very much rewarding. As you know, the care home industry is very much criticized, uh, but it's very hard work. We look after people with our heart. We touch people's hearts. We give people a home away from home. Maybe sometimes I have to say we look after them better than families sometimes. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, and do you have a personal philosophy or like company ethos as a whole that you'd like to share? Yeah, yeah. We, we are a home um, trading for 10 years um, under new management, which is our boss, Sonia Guy here. And we work as a team. And um, I got my deputy Hayley Jones there and Leanne Stirrup. Between four of us, we work so hard for the, the home. And this is our main priority. You know, it's like our family. We look after our residents as our family members and we do get, you know, professionally people say you don't get too emotionally attached with them. But what can you do? We spend most time with them. So, yeah, I, there's, there's worse problems to have than caring too much, isn't there? Well, I don't think it's a problem sometimes when we lose them, sadly, you know, it is heartbreaking for us. Uh, but at the end of the day, they are family. We treat them really well and we want everybody feel loved and cared and we want their last life moments, you know, as much as peaceful, comfortable, pain free. Yeah. And we, we not just look after the residents, we take care of the residents' families as well because we are a dementia specialised home. So the people who come to us, they, they don't know who they are. They'll have lucid moments, but the families, they see the person's shadow. It, it's not the same person as they used to know. So we make it better for both sides. We look after them the residents and the families. We try to make it better for each side and we look after the families when they go through difficult times. Yeah, very holistic approach. It is. Um, and do you have any moments that you're particularly proud of either over the last year or last few years that you'd like to share? Yeah, uh, I, w I wanted to say, you know, when uh, the COVID started, um, everybody was ill and everything and we, we have done a good job. Nobody was there for care homes, you know, they were all about NHS hospitals, but we, we were silent. We were looking after our people and it's only a few members of staff who were able to work. The others were off sick, you know, and we tried our best when the doctors and nurses, nobody wanted to come to these homes we look after ourselves you know 15 hours a day 28 days in a row without day offs but we did it and we only lost two residents that's amazing yeah yeah you should be proud of that yeah um yeah and do you have any anything that you're looking forward to in terms of like growth as a care home or anything that you're excited about yeah we we i actually wanted to dedicate this award to our um, former director um, who's no longer with us we, we lost him due, during covid mr robin the hat guy that, that's the person i wanted to dedicate this award if he was here he was would have been with us proud. yeah he would have been yeah yeah it was you know it was sonia's and um, robin's dream home you know it's a baby so i, I want to dedicate it to robin and um, the thing is we we are waiting for um, um extension to make it better for our residents more room more facilities i'm not saying we don't have we do have but i wanted it a bit more yeah for the residents so we are waiting for a planning applications results to come out yeah and that would be amazing. Um, congratulations again and thank you very much for being here. No problem. Thank you very much for um, inviting us and rewarding us. Ah, you're more than welcome. Well deserved.